What's up YouTube, that Earthling Guy here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install add-on aircraft onto your Steam Edition. Um, just to let you guys know, this won't work with um, installer programs, but I can show you a way that might make the installer, that might make the ones that um, have installer programs work, but the majority of the time they don't tend to work, but anyway, let's get straight into this video. So you want to go to a page, um, depending what site you're going to use, I use Simvation because I think that's the best one, or you could use uh, flightsim.com, sites like that, that tend to have the good add-ons and stuff like that. So what I'm going to go for is this Thompson 787 package, um, I don't believe you need, no, I, you do not need a login for Simvation because I don't have one, but uh, you, you do need one for some sites, which, um, I don't know if you need one for flightsim.com, but um, it's always good to have a look for that. Um, so you want to look for ones that have FSX in the title, uh, well, in the category thing. So you want to look for something that says FSX on it, so FSX here. And if I scroll down a little bit here, see FS2004. Um, I, I don't believe the, the FS2004 ones work on um, Steam Edition is just the FSX ones. So what you're going to want to do is just click on that, um, click download file. I'm going for the uh, Thompson Airways package, the 737800, and uh, I'm going to use this. It's got the Posky stairs and stuff that come with it, which I think will come on come handy when I'm doing uh, videos. So what you want to do is press open, don't press save. Um, it works fine if you press open no, um, because that unzips it as well so um, that's handy if you press save you will need to unzip the file um, which you can do by press by uh, right clicking like here and it should come up here saying oh let's go onto YouTube how oh, cool and just go back on this sorry guys and what you're gonna want to do is uh, just click extract all and to your destination Alright, so uh, this is going to be downloading for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, depending on how long this, this is going to take. So uh, I'll come back to you guys once it's done. Right, so as soon as it's finished, you should get a file like this. So in this file, you get, um, well, it depends what file you have. In some files, it might just have um, this. It should just come like that, and um, you should get all of this stuff here, all of this. And what you want to do first to install this, um, you do want to read the README because that will help you a lot. Um, so, how to install. This pretty much gives you the basic stuff on how to install stuff um, into FSX. So, the main thing of how to do it differently on Steam Edition is to copy this file here, go to your computer, uh, go to computer here, like on mine, and go to your C drive. Uh, program files 86 and then what you want to do now this is this is the good part you this is the part that will get it right so don't go Microsoft games scroll down to Steam and then from Steam you want to go into Steam apps comment FSX and finally sim objects and airplanes and then what you want to do is just right click and paste that in here and it should just take one or two seconds for this to paste into there if this doesn't come up then it might be a little bit different to my computer but um, this, this should come up on most of yours and there we go that is that is in this folder now what you want to do now is go all the way back to your um, your add-on and what you're going to want to do if you get a sound thing what you're going to want to do is put the uh, should say in here. Um, right, that's not very helpful. But what you want to do is just uh, copy this sound folder, put it, go right back into your Steam folder. So Steam, Steam apps, not Steam again. You want to go Steam apps, comment, FSX. And then you want to go to sounds, which should just be underneath sim objects, and just uh, paste it in. 
you don't really want to merge it, it's just I don't really care that much about my sound, so that it doesn't really bother me if it doesn't work. But um, I don't think merging causes any problem. Um, so that add-on is now in your, that is in um, FSX. Now there is something I need to tell you guys. Um, so, like I said, this is what you get once you've installed it from this page. It will come up with a download thing, which should, if it's a quick add-on, if it's a quick download, it could be, it kind of depends, because most of the time the ones that are really quick are bad ones, but sometimes you get some really good ones that download really quickly. But if it takes, say, 30 minutes like this one did, it's probably going to be a decent add-on. So you probably want to just look around for really good add-ons and stuff like that. And um, this is the really crucial part just uh, that I want to go over, which m got me mucked up a couple of times when I did add-ons. So most of the time you'll just get one folder in here, and from that you'll get these folders. You don't want to copy this folder. You don't you don't want to copy that. Do not copy that folder. You want to go into this one, and you want to make sure it's got the model, the panel, the sound detection, and everything like that in here. Um, and then you want to copy that from here. You do not, don't copy the other one. Oh, what have I done? You don't want to do the other one that will muck up your computer. Right, so I'm going to go ahead now and load my Steam. Um, this is the other add on I was looking at while you were gone. Uh, it looks like a very nice add on. I recommend this one. I'm going to go get it once I'm done. Um, so here's my Steam Edition. And just click yes onto that. And sometimes you may end up with a message like that. Just ignore it. And that should be fine. Like, see all of these, uh, the banter buses, um, what we use on our air crew, because I've got an air crew channel, which is uh, a group of us that do FSX videos. See, that should, that will come up as you have. It just does that sometimes if you create your add ons. And it does take a couple of minutes to load. And then from here, um, as you can see, I've got a lot of add ons in here. Um, just scroll down to where it should be and. Just look through all of them, and here is mine. So, here we have it the Thompson 757, which that would go away. Um, very nice model. I do like this one. I am going to go fly it now, and I possibly might do a video on it. So, keep it on my channel for any videos of the Thompson 737. It is a very nice model, and that's it. Um, that's gonna do that anyway, but I don't care. So just click. Uh, and then we will come up with this. So you want to click run and just keep pressing run. If you press um, run and then yes, that will inst that will just download, and you won't have to keep pressing yes and no all the time. But um, I can't be asked to be honest. Um, I might get around to doing that, so we'll go for an airport, maybe uh, Gatwick. And that's in the wrong place. Gatwick here. Right, we'll go for the starting place on the runway. And we'll go for the day so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll go like that. And uh, we'll just go ahead and start it up. Yep, so this does take a few minutes, guys. Um, if you do have any problems with installing these things, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help you guys. But um, it does definitely improve your gaming experience when you have um, add-on aircraft and stuff like that. So then, here we have, guys, the add-on all loaded onto the page and everything like that. Um, bit of a laggy game because I'm recording with the software that I shouldn't be using to record with the game. Um, so this one does come with stairs. Um, great add-on we have here. All these buttons that work. Oh, because so I've got the game pause, it's not going to work. Right. So, yeah, all the uh, buttons do work, and uh, yeah, this is uh, a nice add on we've got here. And uh, if you do have any, have any problems with installing your add on or anything like that, let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to help. And that's going to do it for this video, guys. So, I will see you in the next tutorial.